Click on this with your hosts, Crystal Milana and Sabrina Taylor-Smith, and produced by Capri Productions. I'm here with Robert G. Christie, who is one of Baltimore's directors, producers, and a actors, trainers. Like, he's actually my acting coach. Um, so, Robert, how did you find out about the premiere, premiere tonight? Well, I got an invitation from Johnny Alonso, who is one of my old students. In fact, I know Johnny for like 15 years now. And he's always been one of my uh, formidable talents, you know. And I got to direct him finally in a movie called The Church. And we're still old buddies. Now, where can you see the movie The Church at? Uh, it's all over the internet right now. It's like blockbuster.com, Netflix, and so forth. Right along with uh, another movie I directed called The Sobbing Stone. And they're probably in about 20, 25 different sites now. So it's getting its worldwide recognition. Just hasn't made us millionaires yet, <laughs> but uh, it's out there. And for any actors that want to study with you, which, what is the best way to um, find you? Probably the best way, uh, try email first, which is rcfeatures at aol.com. And uh, on there, uh, on the website, rcfeature, no S, rcfeature.com, there's also a phone. <laughs> Does the motion, uh, are you someone who believes that you should experience real emotion on stage, or are you just purely for the art of acting? Well, I think the, the actor's main job is to be believed, you know, so... If you play a role and it's a tragic role, I want to be able to cry with you, you know, and then when you gain the victories, I want to be able to jump for joy with you. And then I want to be able to, after the movie, remember you for days and days, you know. That, that's the aim that I give it when I direct or train actors. Now, the rest of it is the actor's talent. You know, we don't give them the talent. We just give them the experience and the training. But so given those meanings that then yes my, i think the the performing kind of acting is uh, what people don't get into you know it's sort of like it's very external so they're really not into the other person but the key though is how real you know if if you're going to be in a scene where you haven't slept for three days it's not a good idea not to sleep for three days. To right. Do it, you know. But, you know, because as, as an old uh, golden age of Hollywood actor by the name of uh, Laurence Olivier, recognized as one of the world's leading Shakespeare actors, once said that he didn't like all this method acting stuff, and he once said, my dear friend, try acting. So the idea behind acting is that it's all illusion. You know, make us believe that it's happening when it really isn't. Right, so are you basically saying that you, uh, you believe a good actor is someone who can be both a representational and a presentational actor, meaning that sometimes they can um, do what they need to do to get into character, at, but without having actually done it, and then on occasion will experience the emotions for yes. the first time on stage. Yes. Because I really think that an actor's job is to start with the mind. You know, whatever I put in my head, I'm going to start behaving like it. And then the emotions catch up with me. So, uh, you know, the Meisner School of Training in New York, they now have one in L.A., teaches that it's the script that should affect you. Sometimes you can, look, you know, go into your personal life a little bit but that could wear out. So where do you go to next if it does? So now what you really need is uh, to learn how to take the script itself and let it affect you accordingly. So we don't need to experience, look, if I'm gonna play a heroin addict, should I go take heroin for a while? No, it's gonna kill me, it could. So the better thing to do is to understand the need for the heroin. If I can understand it here and here, I might be able to play it much better and so use something else to relate to. 
Okay, well, thank you so much for letting us interview you. Right. You're welcome.